What's up everybody? This is Roxy, your Firewife Lawyer Mom, and I wanted to show you guys my curriculum picks for my first homeschool year of the year 2020-2021 school year. I have done so, so much research um, and just spent months and weeks figuring out what curriculum I'm going to be using for my first year of homeschooling. And so I wanted to show you guys what I have picked um, and I hopefully this will help you. Now, whether or not you are a homeschooling parent or um, someone who sends their kids to school, this is still helpful. Um, if your child is having a difficulty in any of the areas um, that I have picked for curriculum, you could definitely use these to supplement. Um, and so I'm going to be showing you all of it. I'm gonna be putting the camera down to show you each of my curriculum picks and I'm super, super excited. All right, my friends, so I'm going to be showing you, I have a kindergartner and I have a third grader. So I will be showing you the uh, different picks that I have for the different subjects. Okay, so for handwriting, I chose um, two handwriting books. Um, the first one I chose is Handwriting Without Tears. I really, really love this curriculum. Um, it is great in teaching how to form letters well. And what it does um, is it actually doesn't start, you know, A, B, C, D. It actually groups the letters um, in the, the way that the stroke of the letter is formed. So like, for example, it has um, the diver letters. So all the ones where you have to dive down and then around or dive down, like for the example, the end. So I really love this. It's great for um, if you are you have a struggling hand writer, um, it is awesome. I love, love, love this program. And I looked high and low for uh, different programs and this one I found was really easy and great for my uh, kindergartner, okay? And so this is my kindergarten handwriting curriculum that I'm also using, which is writing our Catholic faith. Uh, we are Catholic family and I want wanted to incorporate our faith in as much of the subjects as I could. So this is also a great program, um, but I mainly bought it because it's going to be what I use after I use this program. So this is what's going to teach her how to do the right, you know, the, the, the form the letters well. And then this is going to be like the reinforcement. So half the year she'll do one and then half the year she'll do another one. All right. So for, um, the next subject I have is critical thinking, and I love critical thinking and logic. I think it's really important that we have, um, we incorporate that into our curriculum so that they, kids learn how to think, how to solve problems. And so I have some critical thinking for math from Spectrum. I'm using that for kindergarten. I'm using uh, Can You Find Me? Building Thinking Skills. This is an amazing resource. Um, it basically asks them different logic questions that they have to figure out. They're little like puzzles. Um, and I really, really love it. Like for example here, it says these figures have a pattern. It is shape, size, or color. Look carefully at these figures. What pattern can you discover? And so um, it talks about forming the pattern by shape, size, and color. So this is another great one. Um, I also am using for logic my um, Mind Benders Level 1 for kindergarten. And um, it's actually pre-KK, uh, but this is a great logic book. Um, and so she's going to be doing one page a day or one page every other day of this one as well. And so that's what I have for logic. And I'm gonna show you guys in a separate video how I divide all of this stuff um, so that you could see like how I can get all of this curriculum in one year. I'm also going to be using for reading, this is my reading curriculum, I'm going to be using uh, the Bob Books Emergent Reader Workbook. So we use Bob Books as our readers. And I love this workbook because it actually goes along with the Bob Books. It goes along with um, each of the Bob books that you read and it has like activities to reinforce uh, those different um, concepts that you learn in the Bob books. So I really, really love this is going to be a supplement to her readers. But my main reading curriculum that I'm going to be using, I don't have the other book 
with me, but the first one is called Alpha Phonics. And Alpha Phonics is a great reading program. It goes very slowly through um, through reading, and it's just very basic and builds upon its uh, lessons, build upon each other. So it's called Alpha Phonics, and I will link it in the description box below. I'm also choosing um, Phonics Pathways, Clear Steps to Easy Reading and Perfect Spelling. And this is from uh, The Well-Trained Mind. Uh, we are going to be a classical uh, type of um, curriculum I've chosen. So I wanna to try to stick to the classical. I really love the concept and ideas of the classical education. And so this um, is one of the recommendations for that. I'm also going to be using the reading lessons, teach your child to read in 20 easy lessons. And this is a great, again, slow reading uh, curriculum where it builds upon each other. And um, that's something that I'm really looking forward to doing with my daughter because I really don't want her to be frustrated with reading. And so I found these awesome programs that will help with that. Okay, um, I also have um, this Draw and Write Journal from Lakeshore Learning. And uh, this is going to be, we're going to be doing, it's, it's a great little notebook because it has lines to write, but then also a picture to draw. So I'm going to have her do a, a copy work. So just very basic sentences. I'm going to have her write, like for example, you know, the cat is blue, you know, I might even start even more basic than that, you know, first two letter, three letter sentences and then build from there. But what's great is that they can write their sentence and then draw a picture. My kids love drawing pictures. So this is gonna be also for her. Um, the, this is a math uh, reader that I've chosen and I have a bunch of them. I'm just showing you one here. This is called Math Start Math Reader and it's great. It's called Seaweed Soup. And basically what the story does is it goes through math concepts in the story. So I really love that because it brings that learning alive and helps them to apply math in different ways. And so that's what I'm going to be using. Um, this book, they have like um, one that's called Three, Three Little Firefighters. Uh, there's a bunch of other books that um, come with this series and I just really love it. Now for language arts, I'm going to be using, uh, let's see, I'm gonna be using a couple of things, but I really love Spectrum uh, for kindergarten. Um, Spectrum Math, Spectrum Language Arts, and um, Spectrum Edition I'm gonna be using, and I'm gonna show you now um, the workbooks, but I love Spectrum. I think it's a great program. It goes very slowly through uh, diff the concepts that you need to know for kindergarten. Um, it It is a, a mastery program, so I love that also. Now, as you can see, I don't have pages in here because I've already started to break these books down um, and put them in my uh, create system that I've created for um, organizing my curriculum. So, um, I will show you guys a separate video on that. I'm also using Spectrum Edition, and this is going to be for morning work. So um, it just has addition concepts, um, and it really starts basic again, zero, you know, starting with one plus zero, zero, zero plus one, um, and then it just goes on and on. Um, it's adding to five, so I love it because it just goes really slow, and then it actually even has problem solving um, parts too. This is going to be our math. So I'm going to be using the Spectrum Math Workbook, but I'm also going to be using a math curriculum from the Moffitt Girls, and that is from Teacher Pay Teachers. It's a wonderful woman who has created a great hands-on math program. My daughter is a hands-on learner. She's very, uh, likes using manipulatives and things like that. So we're gonna be using uh, the Moffitt Girls, and I'll do a separate video on that as well, um, as I don't wanna make this too long. Okay, um, for, um, for, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, for kindergarten as well, I'm going to be using a spelling program. And the spelling program that I will be using is Spelling You See. So Spelling You See, uh, this is the Spelling You See right, uh, program, I obviously, um, I've already taken out the pages for the workbook, uh, but I love Spelling You See. It's such a great foundation for spelling. Um, I'm gonna show you the 
instructor's handbook because that oh, and I already ripped out the pages for my curriculum. Um, but it's awesome because it has the lessons broken down. Um, and so it's, I love that because then I could just plug that into my planner. Um, but it teaches them the spelling rules. So there's two different types of spelling programs you can use. You can use the lists, which is um, give it, getting a list of 10 words and then practicing them and having a test at the end of the week. Um, this is very different. This actually makes... Uh, you understand why things are spelled the way that they're spelled so that you learn how to spell multiple words um, through using the rules of spelling. So I love, love, love that program. Um, I'm, I also have this book and this book um, is Mathematical Reasoning. Uh, we started with Beginners One and I have a separate video where I talk about the Beginners One One uh, book but this we're going to continue on. I love mathematical reasoning. I just think it's such an amazing curriculum. It's great. It helps to teach them concepts. You don't have to write very much in this book. It's basically showing your child and she either has to point or she has to just circle or mainly it's point. Um, and so it tells you, you know, how many yellow circles are on the clown suit, how many red circles. So that's discrimination. You know, it teaches them. And then at the top, if you can see, it, te it tells you what concept that page is testing. So we do like three or four pages a week of this. Um, and it's just really, really awesome. I love mathematical reasoning. And they have, I think, up to like grade three. So if it's something that you want to like reinforce the skills for math, it's awesome. Okay, so that is for my kindergartner. Um, I also have some uh, family subjects as well, so I'll show you those in a separate video. Now, for my third grader, I'm going to be doing a, uh, for handwriting, I'm gonna show you guys. I have chosen Writing Our Catholic Faith, third grade. I'm doing Zayner Blosser handwriting. And I love Zayner Blosser handwriting. It is really, really awesome. And I'm going to show you the workbook for that. Um, but again, it is, um, this one is cursive writing. So uh, my daughter learned how to write in cursive at school last year. And so this is going to just build on her cursive. And what I love about it is it has copy work passages. Um, and so I love copy work. I think that's such a great way for kids to learn grammar, for kids to learn sentence structure. Um, and so this has that built in. Uh, this was another recommendation from Wall Trained Mind as well. So I'm going to be using that for my handwriting. And then um, these are just some extra practice and that's the teacher's manual for that. Now, for third grade writing program, I searched high and low uh, for a good writing program that would teach my daughter how to write well, how to express herself in writing. And so I chose the uh, Writing with Ease program, and this is also from Well Trained Mind. And I love this program, looked high and low, um, but it really teaches them uh, handwriting and it, it what I love is that it breaks it down into weeks um, and so this book is uh, for I believe like it has four levels in it so you only have to buy the workbook every year um, because this is um, all that you need in order to teach the program and so it is an, an elementary writing curriculum okay for math for my third grader I'm going to be doing uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to go with Saxon Math. Now, Saxon Math, I don't have the books yet because I have, um, they're on back order, so I'm waiting to get that, but I will link in the description box below. That's going to be our main program, is the Saxon Math 3 for third grade. But I have some other supplementary math uh, curriculum that I wanna also include. The first one is I'm gonna have uh, this, I got this video, it's called Time Tales, and it is learning the upper times tables. So she's gonna be watching that throughout the year. Mathematical reasoning, again, for grade three. Love, love, love this program. Um, multiplication facts that stick. Uh, and this is from Kate Snow, and she has a great uh, series here with what I've purchased, um, but this is 
for learning in six weeks all of the addition facts. Uh, one of the things that I noticed with my daughter now that she's out of school and we've been working at home is that she really needs to work on learning just really, really well the addition facts and the, um, and the subtraction facts. And so we're gonna start the year with addition and she's gonna go through the six weeks and I love this book because it really breaks down all of the ways that you can learn the addition facts. It has some hands-on activities that you could add as well. Um, and it just shows you how to, um, to learn and to teach it. And it has different games that you can play uh, in order to learn those facts. So this is awesome. And I'm gonna start with addition, then we're gonna to move to subtraction facts, and then we're gonna to move to multiplication. So we're going to be learning multiplication this year. Okay, the next one is first language lessons. So this is going to be our grammar program for third grade. And I'm using the first language lessons for the well-trained mind. So I have the workbook. Um, and this is another awesome program. Um, again, it's very easy for you to teach. It actually has a script that you follow. Um, and so it's really, really easy to do and a great program for teaching the foundations of grammar and learning proper sentence structure, uh, proper punctuation, things like that. And so we're gonna be doing that as well. For our spelling program, going to show you. We're going to be doing for our spelling program, we're going to do for third grade spelling UC and um, she's in level E and this is also uh, what I had talked about for spelling UC kindergarten, uh, the first level which my, my younger one is doing. This one my older daughter's doing and I love this program again, it's so awesome. Uh, what you, you do to pick what level you're at is you have to go on the website and they have a test. So my daughter tested and level E is where um, she should start. And so it has copy work in it. Um, and it has, you know, like I said, it tells you, it teaches you the actual spelling rules, you know, the bussy R chunks. It divides the words into different chunks uh, that you can use to help you apply when you're trying to spell. Because one of the things that I noticed with my daughter is that she would get the list of 10 words every week and would memorize it that week, but then after that would forget. And so this hopefully will teach her the foundations of spelling so that she can learn the the way to spell words properly. This is um, my uh, vocabulary. So uh, 240 vocabulary kids need to know, grade three. And I love this because it has very easy one day lessons. Um, and it's so you get a list of words, uh, vocabulary words, and you have to practice using them in different ways. And so this, um, you have synonyms and then you, um, turn the page and it asks you questions about the words um, and goes through synonyms, it goes through antonyms. Um, and so you really get to learn what these words mean in different ways. It talks about homophones. So you get a little bit of grammar and a little bit of vocab in it. So I, I really, really love that. Okay, for phonics, I'm going to be using the phonics program from Pearson. I searched high and low for a grammar program as well and found this to be the best, not grammar, I'm sorry, phonics program. So we're going to be using the um, phonics program from Pearson and I love it. Again, it breaks down, it breaks it down very well and goes to each of the concepts well. It's very colorful, um, the activities are great and she actually used this at her school last year. She used this curriculum. So uh, it's great because she's already used to it. She already knows how it works. And so that's what we're doing for that. I got one more and these are for our core subjects. So I will do a separate video on family subjects so that this isn't too long, but we have for critical thinking and logic. Again, very big on critical thinking and logic. So we are gonna be doing balance benders. Now this is kind of hard. Um, I kind of was looking through it and it's, uh, it's basically pre, it's kind of like helping them learn algebra. Um, 
through these little um, games, these little games that they play. And so like, I even tried doing this first one and I had to like sit and really think about it. Um, but it has like a balanced scale. And so then what you have to do is circle the answer that would be true. So you have to figure out how they balance. It's really cool. I don't know if we're gonna be doing this from the beginning of the school year. I think we might do it towards the end um, just because this is uh, kind of tough and I don't want her to get frustrated but I thought it was super cool, so I wanted to get that. But for uh, logic and critical thinking, I have word searches for third grade. I love word searches. I think they are uh, kind of a, a lost art form, um, and kids don't really do them so much anymore. I remember when I was a kid, I did a lot of word searches, and I love them because it helps you to really discriminate the word, have to find it in, in there, and I think it helps with spelling. So I have, I'm gonna have her do one page a week of that. Building thinking skills, critical skills for reading, writing, math, and science. This is another great one, um, and again, it goes through just different critical thinking exercises. And I just think it's so important that kids learn how to think, how to learn um, and, and, and that they exercise their critical thinking skills um, on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. So that I'm doing that. And then puzzles and games that make kids think. So she'll be doing about a couple of pages a week of, of all of these. So uh, we're probably not going to finish them throughout the year, but I wanted to have them done anyway um, as much as we can, as long as we can, so that um, we can continue it on in the summer. So this is another great one. Um, again, it has over 175 different activities. So it says like, put an X through the animal that is not real. And so she has to go and find that. And then it has like little maps. So it says like, okay, go west on Cat Avenue. So this is like map reading. Um, and you go further along in the book. And it has, um, I think this is kind of like Sudoku, 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 um, and teaches them all of that stuff. I think I love, love, love this. So that's it. That's all of my curriculum picks for my course subjects for kindergarten and third grade. I will be doing another video on uh, our family subjects and uh, how I will be incorporating those into our homeschool. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.